At the Pygmy Marmoset habitat, there are also new arrivals. Audrey has given birth to twins overnight. It's really exciting because whenever we have any babies, it feels like an achievement and also it's obviously nice for them to have new additions. That takes our group up to six and that's a really good size for a family group of pygmy marmosets. The babies are Audrey's fifth set of twins. I mean, they tend to have twins because the survival rate of offspring is quite low. It's about 25% in the wild. So it's really important that the mum keeps hold of them, carries them around. They need to be with her 24 seven because they're completely helpless when they're born. Audrey needs to carry the babies for at least eight weeks. They're not massive, but obviously, I was Audrey, so it is a lot of weight for her to carry around. Even in the safety of the zoo, the twins will be extremely vulnerable in the first few weeks of their lives. With the five sets of twins that she's had here, um, we lost a set of twins. And then we had a set for about a month, and then one of them died, unfortunately. Scamp was originally a twin, but unfortunately she lost the other one. It was quite healthy, I think, until about 10 days old and then it just dropped down dead. We just came in one morning and he was on the floor. Maybe if they've jumped and knocked him and he's fallen, that's, you know, what's most likely to have happened, really. They're both clinging on well at the minute, so hopefully we're going to get two healthy little babies. When the babies are born, they weigh about 16 grams, so you can imagine just how small and delicate they are. There's always risks. The likelihood of both surviving is quite low, so you're always a bit scared. Keepers think Scamp's twin fell to his death, so pushing the twins off before they're ready could be dangerous. Hi, guys. Where is everyone? Every morning, the team need to check up on them. Yesterday, it took me 15 minutes to find all of them. Hello. The babies are that small, you kind of just have to look for maybe a little bump or something. Today, there seems to be one missing. Audrey's definitely got one. I want to try and make sure we see them both. When I walked in, I saw all four adults and one baby. In the past, we've lost them, so there's always that part of you that's like, oh, are they OK? Are they all still around? Well, you've got them both. Hi. Oh, that's a relief. <laughs> I see two tails and two heads. We're all good. We have them all. They're a month old today, so you'd like to think that at a month, hopefully out of the danger zone. But, you know, we are working with particularly endangered species here. Um, so it's important to get that right balance of being protective, but also keeping a close eye on them.